Okay, we're going three, two, one. Well, I took a goalless draw here at the City Ground. After the disappointment of the Middlesbrough game, did you get the response you wanted from your players today? Yeah, I think uh, Annie had said in the press conference on, on Thursday that uh, for the situation on the table didn't reflect how good they are. And uh, we could uh, see today, we could feel that uh, they have a, a very good players. Uh, they are a team that uh, you feel that uh, they can score any time because uh, they have uh, so many players on the pitch, on the on the bench. Uh, I said that they have a top uh, coach and we were coming from uh, three difficult defeats. So the main thing to do was to try to recover our consistency and uh, we were really good. And then when we were um, uh, good on the pitch and when we were consistent, we started uh, to play our uh, style and uh, we created a few chances, especially in the second half. Clean sheet on the road. Was that the approach going into this one to go back to being hard to beat? Yeah, I think it's uh, the key because uh, when you are a, a, diffi a difficult team to, to beat, it means that the, you are working for each other, you are consistent, and you are committed on the on the pitch. And then when you are in those conditions and you have the quality that we have uh, on the pitch, uh, for sure we are going to win games. But uh, today it was uh, important to. Not to keep the clean sheet because, uh, again, for me it's more important to, to win the games, but uh, to keep that clean sheet means that everybody was committed on the pitch. There's lots of effort, hard work, endeavour. Is that the very least that you expect from this group of players? Yes, and they are doing every day. The problem is that the, sometimes we are making uh, those stupid mistakes that they are uh, uh, punishing uh, a lot. So I think that is the, the way to, to keep going. And now the, the second step is to try to, to win at home, which is uh, now important for, for us because we have two important games uh, at home now and uh, if we want to do this point uh, as a good point, we need to, to win at, at home. The game started to open up a little bit in that second half. Did you feel we had enough in it to, to nick the game? I thought that we, we were going to have uh, chances to, to win, but uh, always uh, thinking that they were going to have uh, chances because, again, with those players on the, on the pitch, uh, they can create you chances anytime. Some decent contributions from individual players out there today. Scott Hogan led the line particularly well in that second half. You always look for an impact from your substitutes and Gary Gardner's given everything again today. Yeah, once again, Gaza has been fantastic. And when he plays in the middle, when he plays in the, in the wing, uh, when he's on the pitch, you know that uh, you have a, a player who is going to try his best, uh, better or, or worse, but at least he will try his, uh, his best. And uh, Scotty, once again, uh, his, uh, his work has been amazing. And I said... Uh, to Scotty and I said to, to Yuki and obviously it's about goals but for me the most important thing is how they uh, work for the for the team because uh, in the way that they are working for the for the team even Yuki the last five minutes holding the ball or trying to to do his his best the, the goals will will arrive because we are going to create chances and they are quality players. Alan Halilovic in your starting lineup today had to come off at half time you can see flashes of quality and what he brings to the team but how is his condition? I don't know. I have to, to speak with the doctor, with the medical department, because I, I think he felt he's his growing and uh, you know his his quality. But uh, again, he's the his first game as a starting player, so he needs to take the the intensity and the yeah the intensity of this of this league. But of this league, but uh, I said always that this is going to be a very good player for us. He said from the start of the season, this is a squad game. We've got another match in three days' time now. Is this where you can use those players that, that haven't played today? Yes, and uh, it's nice when uh, when you have players like uh, Alain or uh, Robo or Clayton against Huddersfield, when you feel that they don't want to leave the pitch. Even when they are, uh, they feel that they are injured, they want to try because they want to stay on the on the pitch. And now, when uh, if I know, like uh, in the Clayton situation, I know that they are injured. You look at the bench, and you have another very good replacement. So I think it's the the good spirit of the of the team. I said the, to them before the, the game that we we needed to start winning games or at least to to compete because the the effort, the the work that this team is putting in every single game is not reflected on the table. So I am really pleased for for them because today they they could see once again that we were competing against a very good team. Alright, as always, thanks for talking to us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.